Hey, this is Al McGee for your entertainment ticket. This is Oscar week, and I'm going to interview the two stars from an Oscar nominated film for best foreign language film, Omar. That's right, it's nominated for an Oscar. And the two stars is Adam and Liam. Uh, Adam plays Omar, the lead in the movie, and Liam, she plays Nadia, his love interest in Omar. Hey, watch this interview. It's Oscar week. This is your entertainment ticket. Latest and greatest movie reviews and interviews. This is your entertainment ticket. Hey, I'm here with the actors in the fabulous Academy Award nominated movie called Omar. I'm here with Adam Bakari. Bakri. Bakri. <laughs> and I'm here with Liam Lubani. <laughs> Liam Lubani. Liam Lubani? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. Well, he's Omar, and she plays Nadia, his girlfriend. I'm really excited, and I saw the film. I thought it was a great film. It was shot in... Uh, Palestine, but tell us, Omar, I mean, I'm sorry, tell us, Adam, your character, Omar, tell us about the film. film is a love story set in the West Bank. It's about this guy, Omar, who loves Nadia and want to live with Nadia and, like, and, you know, live a normal life like everybody else, but he lives in an occupied land under uh, some difficult circumstances, so that's not really simple. No, it's not simple at all. In fact, you had to climb a wall just to go visit her. Yes. And uh, now, when you when you saw this script, I mean, and and and, and the director, Hani Assad, Abu you know, Assad, Abu Assad, uh, when he, you know, approached you about this, what did you think about it at first? He didn't approach me. The casting director sent me. Uh, I actually got the script uh, a month, like uh, almost a month after. Uh, the, after having been auditioning for a while, so oh. I, I immediately connected to, 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 to the material and was uh, was blown away by the script. It was very uh, powerful, and I was very moved by Omar and his character. And um, I was so excited to get on set and start. Oh wow! And, and Lim, how do you say your first name again? Lim. Lim. Okay, <laughs> Lim. Where are you from originally? I'm from Nazareth. Oh, Nazareth. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is your first film, right? It is. Now, how do you? How excited are you that this film, your first film, <laughs> got nominated for an Oscar? You know, American Oscar know. award. I how do you feel about that? I still can't believe it. I think, you know, I just, it's 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 amazing, my first film to get to the Oscar, and even to Cannes and all over. I'm just very excited and and, and very happy for them, for the for the for Hannah Basad to his film that he deserved it. Now tell us a little bit about Nadia. About Nadia. All right, Nadia is um, a young girl. She's still in school. Um, she fell in love with Omar, but um, where she lives is really a hard place to be in a relationship with someone, and especially when he lives on the other side of the wall. Mm -hmm. So all throughout the movie, you just see how they both struggle to see each other, how they both want to see each other and want to be together. but. Um, the life that in the reality they live in is extremely hard. Yeah, but also, but for a young lady yourself, you in uh, school, yeah. we call that high school over here. I don't know what they call that over there, secondary school, whatever. Something like that. Something like that. But also, I see that you're working too while you're in school at a, a factory, you know, you were sewing some things. Is that the normal life there where young ladies work and go to school? No, no, not really. In the West Bank, maybe, but for me, no. Oh, oh, oh no, okay. Now, also, the young ladies there in Nadia's dream is different than Omar's. I mean, Omar's, it, you know, he's looking to free himself, but you're looking for a future love and yeah, family, things exactly. like that. Exactly. You know, and young ladies like that is what they're thinking about? In their teenage age, yeah. All about they want their love, love, friendship, relationship, friends. So, yeah. And, and Adam, Omar, but he and his friends, they're not really thinking about that. Yes, you are in love with Nadia, but you want freedom. Now, are you a terrorist or are you a freedom fighter? Omar. I, I, I don't see.
see Omar as a terrorist at all. I, I don't see why people would call him a terrorist. Poor guy. <laughs> He's just, you know, he, he did what he did with his friends. Uh, if you want to really think of what he did, he did it. And he actually says it in the film. Like, he, there's a line where, where, where uh, Nadia's brother says something about him. Uh, letting his sister marry Omar and then asking him and then telling him that if he's gonna let him marry her or if, if he do his job as as a freedom fighter mm -hmm. so the sniper attack that they take at the beginning of the movie is right. part of that uh, uh, it's their way of resistance of course mm -hmm. but it's also Omar's way of getting Nadia and also Omar, this is a to me. I thought this was a very powerful film, and, and I thought uh, Abu Assad really did a great job writing it and directing it. How was it, Lim, to work with him? To work with Hani Abu Assad was was amazing. I mean, for me, that my first experience to be this good and to leave a scar on me that I feel is like I just it's a great experience because the first experience, uh, the first experience is the most important experience I think and for me it was it was I just wanted more you wanted more of course yeah uh, of course because this is a great film <laughs> and also Adam how was it working with the director he, he he was great he he trusted me and I felt that he trusted me and he gave me my space to explore my my character and, and that was very important for me yeah, that's what I saw in the film, that a lot of the acting was based on the instinct of Omar, you know, and he let you find that instinct. Is that what he did? Yes, he let me, yeah, totally. It was very um, instinctive, um, and, and yeah, but of course we, 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 we would always, like, redo some takes until we both are happy. Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the acting business. Yes. <laughs> so, Lim, what's next for you? Well, um, hopefully after the Oscar, um, I'll be much more known to the world. And I'm thinking, I'm more focused on high school right now. I'm oh, you're still in high school? I'm still in high school. This is my last year. So after high school, I'm just, you know, maybe learn acting in New York and do some movies here and there. We'll see. Oh, yeah. You're a very pretty young lady, too. And again, you did a great job. And Adam, what's next for you? I can't really talk about my next stuff. But oh, but you do have something lined up. Yes, yeah, something interesting. And Omar, is your second film right? My first feature. Your I did first feature? Short, I did some shorts before. Some shorts before? Omar is my first feature. Well, why are you into the acting? Why what drew you to it? Yeah, what drew you to it? I actually come from an acting family. My, my father is an actor, and my two brothers are actors. Oh, so I'm, okay. I'm kind of like... You know, it came naturally. It's in to their me. blood. Yeah, it's in their blood, huh? Yeah. Well, I hope the Oscars in your blood, cause I saw this <laughs> film. If I was a voting member, well, I'm not gonna tell you my secrets, but I would probably give it a good Thank you. vote, because I really enjoyed it. And, and again, I like I like the love story that you all had, but also I like what these young people really portrayed it, and what uh, Abu Assad really did with this film to show what was going on over there. So, Lim, I want to thank you very thank much you. for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm glad to meet you guys. Watch the Omar and watch the Oscar. This is your entertainment ticket. Latest and greatest.